Right, we are back. Another little experiment. I was lying in bed last night, you know, <laughs> as you do, and I was wondering if there's anything that we've kind of got that we can use in a, a different way. And what I'm thinking, I've got some blue bezel tape here. I'm also going to try this with some painter's tape. You've seen me use these before on the channel. This is the Lech Resin stencil kit. This was actually made for the swipe and wipe technique. But there's quite a few stencils in there. You've seen me use these before on the channel. But what I want to see is if I can stick one of these stencils onto, I want one of the patterned ones again. You've seen me use these before when I've done the, the kind of design on the silicon mat then transferred it onto a, a clear cabochon. We're going to do the same thing but I want to see if we can do it with the bezel tape or the painter's tape. So I've just picked this stencil out. So what I mean is I'm going to cut a section of this tape off and stick it to my stencil. I'm going to leave a, a kind of a, an area at the top just to make it easier to peel off afterwards. I'm going to place that down and just rub over just to make sure it's really stuck to that stencil. Because when I've done this before on a silicon mat, it doesn't stick very well to the mat and you can end up with, you know, uncrispy, <laughs> uncrispy edges, if that makes sense. So I'm hoping by doing it this way, I can get the most crisp effect ever. And most of you who have been following me for a while really do know that I've got this thing with glitter. I really, really don't like glitter anywhere. It's it's really, really horrible stuff for me. Um, you might think that's weird if you're new to my channel because I am a resin artist. Um, my anchors and stuff I can kind of deal with. And chameleon powders kind of give me a little bit of a... Ugh. But glitters, there's just something about them. But I'm going to try this for you guys. Now, I don't think a chunky glitter would work with a stencil like this because it's not going to get in the really fine points. And you'll see what I mean. I'm hoping that's stuck down properly. I can kind of see some gaps. It is an experiment. I'm sure it will do. So I've got... I don't even know where I got these from, guys. It's just I've had them for so long. But I'm going to have a go <laughs> with some glitter. Get off. So what I'm hoping is if I put this on, and then I'm going to need a brush. Sorry, my focus is going. Come on, Dan. That's it. I'll start with a little bit because I don't want to go too crazy. So I'm now just going to brush that. And it is sticking to the tape and not to the stencil. So what I want to do is cover a good area as much as I can. So if this works with glitter, it's going to work with pretty much everything. Mica powders, chameleon powders, flakes, anything that's fine with a, with a, with a stencil like this. So I'm going to carry on. But now I can just kind of brush off any excess. So I don't want it falling onto the tape when I peel it away. I want it as crisp as I can. It takes one bit of glitter for me in the wrong place and that's it. I just, I just stare at that one spot of glitter and I fixate. It's another reason why I don't like the stuff. <laughs> Right, so now I can peel that off and I should be left with a really, really nice design. There we go. It's almost like, um, like a nail foil, I suppose, but you can't apply it in the same way. So I'm gonna put that to, to one side carefully. As always, massive shout out to my channel members, anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. 
all my subs and any new subs. We are flying through the 90,000s now. It's, it's going really, really fast. Let's put this glitter away. I should have done this on <laughs> probably some some paper so I could have folded it and, and tapped that back into the pot, but I don't use the stuff to think about that kind of thing. So now I'm just using the resin markers clear heart type UV resin. I'm just going to fill this heart. And I've said this before, when doing anything with transfers, you have to make sure that this is full to the level of the mold so that it's going to be completely flat and you're not gonna you're not gonna struggle with air bubbles being trapped when you place that onto the, the tape. So out comes the beast and I'm going to cure that for two minutes on full power. Once that has cured we can pop that out and just let it cool down for five minutes. Okay, so now comes the transfer part. I'm going to pour some of my UV resin in the area that I want. If you're doing this, try and utilize as much of the tape as possible, thinking about it. I mean, I could have cut this a lot smaller and done it in a very different way because there is going to be some wastage there. Big bubble. There it goes. Now, the trick is not too much because that's all going to pour outside the cabochon when you place it on. There's a little bubble there. Pop. Pop. Get off. There it goes. <laughs> so now I can place on my cabochon and then quickly cure it in place. Whoa, nearly. Okay, so that's had one minute. I'm just going to flip it over. I forgot to put my mirror underneath. So I'm just going to cure it from the underside for probably 30 seconds will do, to be honest with you. Okay, so the moment of truth. Is this going to peel away with the glitter on the heart? And hopefully without leaving any of that blue tape behind. <laughs> I think we've all had that with this tape. There it is, it's worked. There we go. See what I mean about the wastage, but I can put that to one side and probably use some of that area, maybe with kind of just a, a free pour over it or another smaller cabochon. So I've got a bit of a gap up here, I think. What's happened there? I don't think the resin spread out enough, but I'm hoping that's not going to make a difference. I'm going to put a backing on that, maybe maybe a white on this one. I'm hoping that's not going to show through. And for that, I'm just going to mix in a small amount of my white pigment paste to my UV resin and then back that. Then what I'm going to do is just have a little experiment with some different powders. Um, I'll give Chameleon Fakes a go. And I'll try the painter's tape as well. But my painter's tape is not very wide, so I might have to kind of somehow line them together. I don't know. I'll show you what I do. So I'm just taking that all the way to the edges and then I forgot that it's glitter. And I've touched some of the design, so I'm hoping that I haven't actually moved. I can see a speck there, but it's come to the back hoping I haven't moved any into the kind of clear areas and it's going to bug me then but I can I can always try again <laughs> so I'm just going to give that a minute under my lamp I'm not going to lie this looks absolutely crazy and I can't think of any other way of doing this with glitter I thought about it and I can't it's really really crisp but I'll show you shortly right so for the painter's tape I've picked a design, I'm not sure if it's going to work. And I'm just going to place the tape onto the stencil. And then I'm going to go in with another strip and really, really pick a straighter side. Butt them together.
that do it? See, my worry is peeling the stencil away from the tape because they're two separate strips. So I'm going to reinforce that back. So that's holding the two strips together there. And then I think if I turn that over, if I apply a piece at the top, sticky side to sticky side, and then the same at the bottom, I should then be able to peel that away in one, one piece, hopefully. <laughs> What I'll do is I'll skip most of this one, but for this one, I'm going to brush on with some plum chameleon powder. And I wish I'd put down something over my silicon mat. It's too late now. I've stuck to <laughs> stuck the stencil to my to my mat and I can't be bothered to change it now. So I'm just gonna carry on. But that has gone on really, really nicely. Can I peel it away? as one sheet yes now the thing that I'm worrying about peeling this off now is that this kind of tape is a different kind of stickiness than the blue tape I'm wondering if that gets warm if that's going to leave a tacky residue on the back of our resin but I'm going to fast forward to the peeling away from the cabochon. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing as what I did on the first piece. I mean, can we get a moment of appreciation here on how <laughs> how well centered that is? I've, I went a little bit too happy with the blob of UV resin, so I'm gonna to have to clean that up afterwards. But will it peel away? I've let it cool down as much as I can. can see some tackiness being left on there. I'm gonna try and get that off with some isopropyl, but I'm worried it could interfere with the powders also. Let's give it a clean up around the edges first. I was gonna go in with some isopropyl, but it doesn't feel tacky. I think it's just the texture from, from the tape itself. Looks like I could end up with some bubbles in there but I'm gonna back that probably with a black okay we're all done so we've got the two that I just made the glitter then the mica powder with a black background that was the one with the painters tape I've done one with chameleon flakes and what was that one I can't remember oh that was a, a nail powder so this would also work with mica powders. Just be careful of the backgrounds that you're using. So the glitter one, that is just so crisp. I was lucky. <laughs> There's not really any stray particles of glitter. But the sparkle's really, really nice. Should have tried with more colors, but there you go. It's just an example for you guys. You can play around with whatever colors and backgrounds you want. I'm actually really impressed with this one. I didn't think it was gonna look okay, but it does. It's worked with the, the painter's tape. Can't really see a seam where the tapes were joined. Can a little bit there, but it's not really noticeable. Really stunning effect. I need to spend some time just sanding this down and, and top coating it. But they're so crisp. This one was the Chameleon Flakes. I mean, look at that. <laughs> so crisp. And it's really, really easy to do. Really easy. And imagine the stencils that are out there, what you could do. You could do so much. And this one was the nail powder. It's supposed to be like a, a holographic nail powder. But the trouble is, doing it this way, you can't... You can't get this kind of rainbow effect because you'd kind of burnish it on, say, a nail. And it would give you a holographic effect. You can't really do that with a tape, so that is a shame. But it's just black and silver. It looks really nice. So as always, give the video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you haven't subbed. Hit that button for me. I think these two are my favourites. Really cool. Just got to drill a hole through there, attach a bale, and make it into a pendant. But there you go. Hope you enjoyed that one. 
As for epoxy, you can do the transferring with epoxy. Again, just be careful how much you're putting down. Don't move it whilst it's curing, and it will cure and transfer that detail onto a clear cabochon. So it can be done. For bigger projects, you could, I was thinking about it, you could use a big sheet of sticky back plastic, but it's just, it's a lot of plastic to waste. Um, I think this is best for small pieces, but do with it what you want. <laughs> I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.